Uh, industrial espionage? Okay, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that. Oh, look at that. These are difficulty 80. I think this is the most difficult mission that we've done so far. All right. So we're doing a raid in a war zone. Outstanding. War zone is my kind of mission. We'll take the salvage shares because we're going to be fighting against Davian. And we, we, we can afford to burn some reputation with Davian. I'm not, I'm not super worried about that. And Dizzy Button says they return from their errands. We'll welcome back, Dizzy. Good to see you. Glad you could make it back. Hopefully the errands went well for you. We are currently chasing down another pilot. Um, let's take out the Dragon Slayer again. Hopefully it'll perform a little better this time if I don't get headshotted. We'll take the Zeus. And we just put these Battle Masters together, so I think we'll take them out too. And that'll get us just under the limit. So, who's gonna who's gonna take out the Dragon Slayer? I think it's gonna be the commander, to be honest. And then of course, Northman is is our Zeus pilot. And I don't think anybody yeah, we have some people that have a little bit of affinity with the battle master, Grid like Ansi. But just about everybody else is up for grabs, so let's see. Let's see. You know what? Sage Raven's pretty low level, and they haven't gotten a lot of face time today. So we'll go ahead and put in Sage Raven. And it's going to take us 42 days to finish up this uh, Battle Master, but that's okay. That is okay. Let's make it hot, Chet. Let's make it hot. Again, these are going to be relatively difficult missions. We're actually getting into the more difficult stuff, which is good. I, uh, I like, I like challenging missions. Cakewalks are fine from time to time, but I like to, I like there to be a risk, you know? Alright. Hopefully we don't get headshotted this time. I always seem to have the worst luck when I'm playing as the commander. Enemy forces will inevitably overrun this area, but we have been tasked with holding them back for as long as possible. We have substantial combat bonus opportunities the longer you can hold them off. But be sure not to overextend yourself. Well, don't worry, Rihanna. If if the mission goes well and I feel like we can stay in it for a little more money, I'll absolutely do that. By the way, Chet, that's something that I've been meaning to ask, because I know at least some of you people out there are going to know. Um... What is the name of the mod that lets you increase the amount of money you get from staying in a Warzone contract? Because I people have told me that that mod exists, where you can increase the amount of money you get for each kill, but I didn't see it on the Nexus. So can somebody tell me what the name of that mission is, or the, what the name of that mod is? Because I would like to add it to the mod. Because I like Warzone contracts, it's just... You don't get that much money for staying in them. And, like, I would like to make more money. Thunderbolt. See, Thunderbolt, Panther, Jaegermech. Alright. Alright. Let's do it. Sir, this is meat. That lion is going to be burned into my head for the rest of my life. For some reason, meat was one of those pilots in Mech Commander 2 that I just always ended up using. Because they're like one of the first pilots that they give you at the beginning of the game, and so I always found myself using them for most of the game. But Lieutenant Jaeger Mech, you ain't got no legs. 
Pugs Hunter, is that actually the name of the mod? Yes, Commander. More hostiles inbound on your position. Get ready for some company. Because if so, that's a long ass name. I get that, Pugs Hunter. My question is, there is a mod, and I, I don't know what it's called, but people have mentioned it, that there is a way to increase the amount of money you get for staying longer. Oh, is there a setting in there? I'll have to look. Is it just under the options, or what? Because everybody was telling me it was a mod. But of course, the duality of Chet. Chad is always both simultaneously correct and incorrect about everything. Is that turret cartel way over there? Is that what I'm seeing? Oh no, it's an SRM carrier. How about that? Yeah, if somebody can confirm, I mean, if that's a vanilla game setting, I'm fucking standing. We're gonna change that. Okay, once again, Rihanna, we've talked about this. Cardinal directions. They are important, especially in a battlefield setting. Increased war zone rewards. You can keep finding ways for more money. I mean, DLC recent. Nah, that's, that's in the default game. I'm just trying to find a way to increase the rewards that you get. Because right now, even if you're fighting like this, where we're fighting medium and heavy mechs, like, the problem is that you get, like, 100k for destroying one additional mech. And considering that every second you stay in the mission, you're taking more damage, and that's going to cost you more money, uh, the amount of money that you end up making off of sticking around longer is not enough to counterbalance uh, the amount of money that you're going to spend repairing the damage that you take. And so that's why I wanted to increase the, uh, the rewards so that financially it's actually worth it. This dude is very good at keeping his leg where I can't hit it. And that's annoying. Got to deal with a thing. It's a shower. I need to take a shower. Well, that's okay. Don't don't forget, Trev. Showers are sexy, so you should take one every day. I'll have a look at it, Dizzy. I mean, we're obviously not going to add it right now, but. I'll have a look at it, see if it's what I'm thinking of, and if it is, I may add it um, before the next stream. Okay, so there's that. What are you dropping on me now? An enforcer and a quick draw. I mean, we still haven't killed all the mechs that we sure, need to kill. Identified. Let's see. Let's uh, let's send some hurt down range. Whoops. Leg M. Tarkov leg meta. Oh, he's toast. That's an ammo explosion. He did indeed blow up good. Uh, if you don't mind, please take out that fucking partisan because I hate AC2s. Oh, this is an AC-5 partisan, my mistake. Alright, three more enemies, so we should get one more dropship, and then it's all cream after that. So what are you bringing me? Uh, we got Warhammer, Cyclops, and a Warhammer. Oh my. 
Oh, and that's a PPCX Warhammer. You just became target number one. End that man. Unacceptable. It is unacceptable for the computer to use PPCX. I was hoping to headshot him. Hey, I'm on the yeah, that's a thing that's gonna happen, buddy. We're, we're in a war zone, in case you hadn't been paying attention. Believe it or not, you do get shot at in a war zone. Crazy concept, I know. There we go. Uh... Sage Raven's looking a little rough. Tell you what, I'm gonna head towards the extraction. And we'll... Then that way we can extract quickly. Uh, yes. Yes, Slav Chen, it is in fact an XL. Mother! It is an XL Victor. This is specifically the Dragon Slayer Hero Mech variant. Come on, boys, keep moving. Yeah, but see, like that, we've we've just destroyed two additional vehicles on top of everything else. They're only giving us an additional 30 k like. That is 100% not worth the additional risk that we're taking by staying in this fight. And that, we didn't even... I mean, we're only just now pushing up over the 100,000 C bill mark for destroying an entire medium mech. And that's, that's why I want to increase the rewards. Because if we're going to take more damage and have to pay out more money in repairs, then I want to make sure that we're actually making an appropriate amount of additional money. Because 200k is 100% is not worth the risk of taking on additional meds. Ajax says, time for some Space Station 14 with the Auxiliary. See ya, stomp them robots. You goddamn right, Ajax. Have a good time with the Auxiliary. Hopefully, hopefully another shift on uh, Nano Tracen's most famous space station will go well for you. But yeah, let's let's go ahead and get out of here before we take too much more damage. Contact successful. Time to get paid. Ah, we don't have any insurance. I don't normally take damage protection. I don't normally take damage protection. The rules say you have to take max salvage, and if you have any negotiation points after that, you take money. Also, I have no idea why the music got really loud there all of a sudden. But yeah, just for, for anybody, and I'm sure the vast majority of you, if you know anything about Battletech, if you know anything about Mech Warrior, then you are probably already familiar with these folks. But just in case you're not, uh, let me let me go ahead and put this in the chat. Go check out WBPL76, home of the Black Pants Legion. They are streaming almost every day, all the time. They have a rotating cast of folks from the Black Pants Legion that are doing content over there, as well as Tex himself occasionally doing stuff with, uh, with Dap and other members. If you don't know who the Black Pants Legion are, then you've probably at least seen some of their content. Uh, Tex over at the Black Pants Legion, uh, in my opinion, one of the best, if not the best, content creators in the Battletech space. Helped revive the franchise. Uh, doesn't get enough credit for the work that he does, but uh, be sure to check them out. And that is that is where Ajax is running off to, to go play some Space Station 14 with some of those fine folks over at the Auxiliary. So again, 
If you're not familiar with Tex and the BPL, definitely give them a give them a look. Check them out. It will not be a waste of time. Uh, they are good people. They're out there trying to do good work. Uh, they do a lot of charity work. They do a lot of giving back to their community. Again, Tex and the BPL is good people. You will not regret giving them a follow and even a subscription if you think you can afford it. I'm not going to tell you to go do that, but uh, the more support you give them, the more they're going to give back to the community. So, again, it is not a waste of your time. That's, that's for anybody that isn't familiar, but I suspect most of you probably are. But that was another good mission. And look at that. We've actually got an engine core available. My, my, my. And a tier 3 PPCX? Oh, that's some good salvage here, boys. That's some good salvage available. Alright, let's have a look. So we cored out the Marauder. Surprise, surprise. Uh, the, this Warhammer actually survived, though. We couldn't take that. Pull the engine core. Um, quick draw, cored out. Enforcer, cored. Gintaro, cored. Crusader, Centurion. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I, I tend to shoot for center mass. I tend to shoot for center mass. I'm sorry, I can't help it. Is Tex Battletech Jesus? No, absolutely not. And I think I think he would resent the comparison. Um, Tex himself will will tell you, first and foremost, he's just a normal dude out there trying to do normal dude shit. He he and I have spoken, and, and we are very much of the, the same mindset that, you know, life life is, is a lot of challenges back to back, and the best any of us can hope to do is to leave this spinning ball of rock just a little bit better than we found it. And that's all Tex and the BPL are trying to do. They're just trying to inject a little bit of joy into the world and try to help people that need it. Um, you know, it's... There are many more admirable ways to spend your time and energy than trying to make the world just a little bit better than it was. Uh, but let's see. Let's see. Um, I think we can almost take the Marauder and the Warhammer. I think we do. If it's only going to cost us 450k to grab a Marauder and a Warhammer, I think that's a good get. That's absolutely worth it. Although I could grab the 360 core, but that's, I mean, that's more salvage picks for just the core than most of the mechs on this list. So the Warhammer still has its core, the Marauder doesn't, but we could potentially replace it. So I think this is a good, this is a good set of salvage. Yeah, that's my problem with the engine core, General Quarters, is like, the core is being so expensive, like... It costs so many salvage picks to just grab an engine core. Meanwhile, like, the engine core was 18 picks. The Warhammer that still had its engine core was only 25 picks. It's called Increase Warzone Rewards for the mod. Okay. Well, I'll definitely go check it out. Like I said, we're, we're not going to stop the stream so I can add it, but I'll, I'll look into it. See if it's something that I want to add, and uh, we, we may put that in before the next stream. Tex is greater than he would admit, or be comfortable with being reminded of. As his videos say, he's just a voice that likes whiskey. Yeah, and, and that's that's the thing. Like, Tex is, Tex is very humble, um, and I think uh, he, he also comes from the South, and for those of you that, that were born and raised in the South, in the United States... Um, there's, there's this sort of forced humility. Like, you get raised with humility as part of your diet, right? Like, even when people give you a compliment, you're, you're supposed to deflect. It's, it's almost Japanese in that way, right? You, you get raised from a very young age to be humble, um, and to, you know, deflect praise and, and to just generally, again, do the right thing because it's the right thing to do. Rather than because, you know, you want to post about it on social media and you want people to praise you and, and tell you how awesome you are because you did a good thing. Like, no. And, and that's the thing is when you're raised with that mentality and then people do praise you, 
um, the, the downside of that is you end up with a situation where you almost feel guilty when people praise you. And again, I'm, I'm speaking from experience. It took me a very, very long time. And you can probably even hear it when, when you guys are out here fucking starting level 10 hype trains with your gift sub bullshit. Like, y you can hear it in my voice. Like, I'm not, I'm not used to that. I'm not used to that kind of, that kind of praise and that kind of appreciation because I've been raised to, to deflect those things and, and to not accept that. Um, so like, I, I understand, I understand Tex's mindset in that regard. Um, but I, I take every opportunity to praise him, to praise the BPL and to praise the work that they're doing, because I believe it does re deserve recognition uh, as yeah. much as Tex and his people may try to may, may try to deny that and may try to say, oh, we're not deserving. I mean, I believe that they are. I absolutely believe that they are. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna get off- I'm gonna get off my tech soapbox. I'm gonna get off my tech soapbox. Uh, let's see, Slav Chan says, Today, I have witnessed the greatest gun prob, but right in the start of career. I don't even know what mod brought me NPPC to the market. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I didn't even know those were in. So, maybe- it might be a mod that you're using that I'm not, but I haven't seen them. And Vio Player subscribing at tier 2. Oh my. Thank you, Vio Player, for that tier 2 subscription. I appreciate that. Thank you so, so much for the support. Thank you for taking the extra step to support me, support this channel, and support this community. Again, without you guys, there is no stream. So, thank you so, so much for that support. Ah, uh, but let's see. What else do we got? We still got a couple contracts here. We got one more contract for the pilot, and then we got this industrial espionage, so let's have a look in the mech bay. Yeah, Tex's long-form battle tech history is awesome. And and believe it or not, he he has been an inspiration. So a lot of the a lot of the big battle tech creators in the YouTube space, especially, I mean, they were they were at least in part inspired by his videos. I mean, it's hard to believe that it's been what, six or seven years since Tex did his first Tex Talks Battletech. And, uh, and it really helped the community grow. It, it still does, even now. Uh, but let's see. The Dragon Slayer did well, now that I didn't get headshotted. The Zeus also did well. Uh, one of the Battle Masters is okay. The other one lost an arm, but I don't think that was the arm with the weapons. Oh no, it was... It's always the machine gun arms, damn it. Why is it always the machine gun arm? But thankfully, I did buy some extra machine guns. So, uh, we, we actually had what we needed to replace them. So we're able to get it all fixed up without too much trouble. It's a little expensive, but them's the brakes. Um, with this Marauder, I would like to get another Marauder put together, because more mad is always good. But for now, I think we just need to put it in cold storage. Uh, again, we can't repair them right now, and we can't strip them down right now, so I think we just put them in storage for the time being. Uh, this is the 6K. What, what makes the 6K different is my question. Has a little bit bigger engine and a few less lasers from the look of things. But that could just be because I put a bigger engine in it. Yeah, I'm not sure what makes the 6K different. Uh, yeah, if you don't know, uh, Spin Vanderplank is, is another content creator out there doing a lot of Battletech lore videos. Um, Mechanical Frog on the YouTube is also another great content creator, putting out content at least once a week, sometimes even more than that. Um, Big Red, Big Red Tech is, is also, Big Red 40 Tech is also another content creator that puts out long form videos. Uh, he goes a little on the, like, hour to hour and a half long videos. Um, so he, he is another content creator, but yeah. Um, if you want to learn more about Battletech, if you're new to the setting, or if you just want to learn some more stuff that maybe you didn't know before, definitely check them out.
lots of good content creators out there. You just gotta go looking for them. I am, I am certainly not the best, and I make no claims to be. I am just a monkey putting on a show, that's all. Alright, so that, that crab has been stripped, so we'll go ahead and sell it in the meantime. I'm also going to get these other crabs put back together, just in case we need them for an arena mission or something like that. But in the meantime, let's get back to the home screen, we'll do the contract, let's do this raid mission, and hopefully get our hands on a pilot. Bob the Troll says, forgot you go live on Saturdays. Well, don't worry, Bob. Um, we're a little late in the stream now, but uh, remember that the VODs will stay live on Twitch for up to seven days. As long as uh, Big Daddy Bezos doesn't decide to bop the VOD for whatever reason. And you can always catch it over there on the YouTube lands uh, if you don't catch it before it falls off the back end. So there's always opportunities to catch whatever you missed. I try to make it as easy as possible. Uh, but I think, again, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So we'll just go with this Lance Cop. It worked for the last one. I got a feeling it'll work for this one, too. Well, welcome to the stream all the same. Good to see you. Glad to have you. Hopefully the weekend is treating you well. And if not, hopefully it will be a little better now that you're here. I said go, damn it. Let's make it hot. Don't ask me to confirm after I just got done confirming. Where else will we get bad tactical decisions? Uh, well, you're not wrong. I mean, you could still find bad tactical decisions, but it's going to be hard to find somebody who is this bad at the game on purpose. Like, most people that are this bad at the game are bad at it because they just are new. I'm this bad because I just suck on purpose. Slav Chan says, 2 a.m. already, so guess I have to go to sleep. All right, Slav Chan, well, go get yourself some sleep. Have a good rest. Hopefully you have a good, sweet dream. And uh, again, if you miss the stream and you want to catch some more of it, you can catch the VOD tomorrow or whenever you wake up, whenever you've got some time. Uh, but we were glad to have you again. I've said it a million times. I'll say it a million more. I don't care if you spend five minutes or five hours in this chat. If you're here hanging out and having a good time, then that's all I need, and I appreciate it. Every minute you spend here is precious, and I do appreciate it. TGAP says the 6K removed the machine guns and the ammunition to make room for two heat cells. Ah, okay. That makes sense. Although, the way we build our mechs, I put the ammunition in the head, so... If the head gets blown up, the pilot's going to have a lot more problems than the machine gun ammunition going off. What planet am I on? Oh, I have no idea. I don't pay that much attention. Although, we do need to switch over to Predator Vision, because I can't see shit in this sandstorm. Alright, what are we dealing with? Shadowhawk? Okay. What was the other mech? I didn't quite get a look at you. Are you? What What are you shooting at? What are you donkey shooting at? And thus was the javelin rendered into the past tense. Oh, you want to throw hands? Well, how about I throw a gauss round through your cockpit, asshole? Share target identified. Uh, I again, I don't, I don't know that I would go jump jetting around in this environment, my friend. You're braver than I am. Uh oh, turret cartel at work again. Rihanna, I will deal with the treasure in a second. I'm a little bit busy, but thank you. Whoops. Missed with that shot. There we go. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Again, the light mech spam is fucking real.
Let me see if I can grab this salvage real quick. There we go. I thought I killed you, but maybe I didn't. Let me fix that. Let me fix that. Alright, we got a Warhammer over there. Go get him. Sage Raven's already taking some more hits. And Sage Raven is just not having a good time. To be fair, they are also significantly lower level than the rest of our pilots, so... I mean, they had to get some experience somehow, I just wish it was less expensive. Heard the text chat, have a speaker in the bathroom. Wanted to add, text brought me in in fully into the hobby of Battletech. Yeah, and, and that's not a nice way at Incident. There are a lot more people in the hobby now as a result of Tex and the people he inspired. And I think that's outstanding. Down. And again, the, the man would never take credit for it, no matter how much you give him credit for it. Every time I tried to get in Battletech, there was either no one around or they were complete asshats. It wasn't until I saw the text talk to Battle Cat that I started to realize that the community was bigger and better now. Also, there's a non-zero crossover between LEGO and Battle Tech. This is also true. I mean, I don't know if you've seen them, but in Japan, they used to have magazines, like actual print magazines, and all it was was just fan-submitted photos of them building little robots out of LEGOs, and then sharing instructions on how to build them. I don't know if they still print those magazines anymore, but I thought they were cool as shit. Oh, we got a VTOL coming in. Get wrecked. Nerd. Oh yeah, for sure, Travis. I, I kind of figured in this day and age that they would have moved to a digital format, but... You know, there there are still some print publications that stubbornly refuse to die. And if, if any place was going to do something like that, it would probably be Japan. Where traditionalism wins out over logic every time. Damn it. Go into the darkness. There we go. Ow. Okay, fine. You want my attention? You got it. Allow me to fucking oblige. I was going to ignore you and let my lance meets take care of it. But then you had to go and make a fucking nuisance of yourself. You did this to you. Used to build Lego battle mechs and took them to conventions to play where you could literally take off parts as they were damaged. See, that's fucking cool. That is cool. I mean, Rihanna, you say that as a dropship is literally landing between me and where I need to go. And it is an Orion and a fucking Cyclops. Okay. Well, things just got a lot more interesting. Yeah, you are. Oh, that's not good. That's extremely not good. Also, what the fuck is shooting me? Jesus. I swear, these Igors. Like, I increased the autocannon damage mostly for myself, but God, it makes Igors so much more dangerous. Is 
All right, there we go. Let's get out of here. Let's let's get out indeed. Actually, I just realized. It's all coming. Yeah. Is that the same voice as that other guy? But hey, you know what? I didn't realize it until I looked at the list. We actually picked up a tier three medium pulse laser as one of the salvage. That's actually really fucking good. And we finally hit rank 13 elite. Outstanding. You love to see it. Maybe we'll actually get some fucking respect around here. Alright, let's see what we can do. We can grab the Orion, which I cored out. We can grab the... We can grab the Cyclops, which I cored. I got the headshot on the Wolverine, so that'll probably be a good grab. Uh, the Centurion is still in one piece. I do kind of want to take another Orion, though. Because the Wolverine, I'm just going to sell. But, but, it has an SRM-6 Inferno. Then again, the Orion has an SRM-4 Inferno, and the only thing it lost was the engine core. Uh, decisions. Decisions, decisions. These were not normal tabletop scale, they're like 8-inch tall lights. 12 inch tall heavy Lego mix. So, speaking of lights, and I know this is completely off topic, I don't know if you guys have seen him, and I forget the guy's name, I'll have to go look him up on the Twitter machine, but there's this guy who builds, um, who builds, like, 40k miniatures, and he puts, like, Ellie Bean light strips and stuff in them to actually light up, so, like, his plasma guns actually light up. And, like, he puts lights inside the heads of the Space Marines so that the, the helmet lenses light up. and all, Like, it's actually really fucking cool. I, I know it's completely off topic from what y'all are talking about, but I saw that recently and I thought it was cool. Uh, but I think we'll take the Wolverine because it's mostly Earth. Yeah, the Wolverine is mostly intact. And, uh, no, fuck that. We'll take the Orion because I want to rebuild another Orion. And so we've got another eight picks. So we could take a javelin and sell it. What, what do we got for equipment down here? What do we got for equipment? Anything worth a damn? Not really. Not really. Alright, so I guess I'll take a javelin and some Frank's Red Hot. Alright, there we go. That's another mission down. It's all coming. I think this is the same guy. Uh, so we're getting a bunch of stuff. We're also getting Preacher. So we did, in fact, get another pilot. And we also collected some countermeasures. We'll go ahead and finally turn that in. Outstanding. Uh, sadly, we are not in a place that offers Cantina missions, so there's not a whole lot to do there. Uh, offer to join Hakon Magnuson. Three-month warning. Is this, um... This is the Rise, isn't it? This is uh, Rise of Rasselhaeg DLC, if I remember right. Because I don't want to accept it. I already decided we're not doing Rise this time around, because we did it in the vanilla campaign. But I just want to confirm. This is, in fact, the Rise start, is it? Okay, Travis says yes. Alright, so I'm not going to take that. Uh, however, we do have this industrial espionage raid, so let's go ahead and do that. Let us go ahead and do that. So number one, there's not really anything on this javelin worth keeping, so I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. And this Orion, I think we just rebuild it into something useful, but for right now, as always, throw it in cold storage. And look at all these fucking mechs. Look at all these mechs we got in cold storage. We need to rebuild some of these. We gotta hit- we gotta hit an industrial zone here pretty soon. Cause I got a lot of mechs we need to put back together. Ah, uh, but in the meantime, speaking of putting mechs back together, let's- let's get this lance put back together. And, uh, we will see. We will see what we get ourselves into. Uh, you did not, in fact, lose an arm this time, but you did still lose a large laser. I wish you would quit getting weapon systems destroyed, Sage Revan. Uh, but yeah, let's do this. Industrial espionage. 
And there we go, 27 picks. On a difficulty 70 mission, um, we could get some decent salvage from this. So they'll have to wait 56 days. Uh, everybody's getting, getting decent affinity, which is good. You love to see it. So let's go ahead. Let's make it hot, chat. Let's make it hot. In fact, in fact, we're going to make it so hot, I think it's time for the jacket to come off. That's how hot it's about to get in here, chat. Push the buttons. Push the buttons. I need to see you push the buttons. Push the butt. Push them. Push them. Move the hand. Move the hand. Push the button. Move the hand. Push the button. Thank you. Thank you. I need it. I need to see it. It's so good. What do we have so far? A battalion's worth of mechs and cold storage? I mean, pretty much. And least a battalion. The ships are right off the factory line and aren't subjected to search when crossing territory borders. It's quite clever, actually. Either way, Rashford Owens stands. Yeah, bare shoulders. Careful, careful. I mean, you were here earlier, EW, so you already know. I, I even showed off my pants today. That was a special treat. Y'all didn't think I was wearing pants. I proved that I was. And, and. Don't forget, again, for those of you that were here, not only was I wearing pants, they're black pants. Quick draw, we got a vehicle, we got a veto. God damn it. Alright. You die. You also die. Pants are legionary requirements. They are indeed. You're not gonna catch me at a uniform. I'm just saying. I'm already in violation of the grooming standard. You're not gonna catch me at a uniform too. No, 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 no. Turn, turn the missiles towards me. I don't want you to have legs. All right. Destroyed. Now let's just let's just do some impromptu building inspections again. Make sure everything's up to code. If they're gonna call us all the way out here, I mean we gotta we gotta make sure we do the job right. You know how it is. All right. Where's where's the next set of buildings that need inspection? Now hold on. Am I am I about to like? Yeah, I guess, I guess it's roughly the same distance, regardless. Well, hello there! Enjoy the ground when you get there! Well, Travis, it's one of those that and I talk about it on the Twitter machine from time to time is how much work I put in to a full 3D model for this stream, even though you guys only ever see the top half of it. Like, I put so much fucking work into this model, and at least half of the work that I put in will probably never be seen by another person. Now, with that being said, at some point, I would love to get, like, a full body rig set up and, and be able to do, like, full 3D, but I'm not quite there yet. And because I knew everything myself, uh, there's there's a lot of skills that I would need to learn in order to make that happen. Skills that I do not currently possess. So I'm I'm just you know it's it's one of those things. It's like right now it's a pipe dream, but it's still something I would like to do eventually. 
Let's see. Whoop. Missed on that one. Let's try it again. I don't know. Look at me. Look at me. Damn it. I was gonna try to headshot him. Alright, maybe I can headshot the Enforcer. I need to get better with my accuracy. Although there does still seem to be some amount of randomization in whether you actually hit the head. Hey, turn and face me. Oh, there we go. I mean, luckily, the Enforcers get a big fucking head, so it's easier to get headshots, but even so. Alright, gotta do these building inspections. Check everything out. Unfortunately, it's not up to code. You hate to see it. You hate to fucking see it. Have I mentioned I fucking hate partisan? Where where's the veto? I know there's a fucking veto. Oh shit, it's a melee wolverine. That was not on my bingo card for this mission. It's another Zeus. I would gladly take another Zeus. The one we've had has been putting in some fucking work. Now. Oh, you, you already cored him out. Well, I was hoping that I could leg him. But I guess that's fine too. Turret Cartel. Add it again. Little bastards. Little bastards. Go get that carrier for me, boys. I'm pretty sure that three heavy mechs can handle an LRM carrier. Thank you. Structures are out of code. Not, accept not accessible by mech-bound users. Correct. We're rectifying that, though, because I'm so generous. Like, even though I'm seeing all these structural issues, I am- I am making sure to rectify them. Alright. I think that's it. I think that is it. Just gotta- gotta do some internal inspections here, make sure all this is- is, uh, is up to code as well. And uh, we'll just we'll just make a new handicap accessible exit right there. Outstanding work, boys. Outstanding work. Oh, need to go this way. On the spot solutions. Yeah, absolutely. I'm I'm trying to be as helpful as I can. I mean, they'll have to come through and and do some actual rebuilding and remodeling later, but at least for now, we have, we have solved the problem in the, the short term. Are destroyed, and the parts are nothing more than scrap. This will no doubt please our employers, but the murky me has to admire the new searches for coming up with a smuggling plan. Oh well, another job well done. Yeah, that's true, Travis. Models are never finished, only abandoned. I mean, I've shown you guys on the Twitter machine occasionally that I have multiple models that I have been working on. New outfits for this model and, and other models as well, so... I mean, I'm an amateur. I, I'm not a professional by any means. But... It does take a while. It takes a while. To not only find the motivation, but to find the time to do all the work. Oh, the Zeus is actually up for grabs. The unfortunate part is it's 30 picks. I don't think I want to spend 3 million C-bills on another Zeus. That's okay. 
that's okay. We could grab the catapult. Just grab it and sell it. Because we're going to make more than 300k off of selling that catapult. So I think, I think we just take it and sell it. And uh, yeah, not a whole lot of damage all around. You love to see it. Everybody came out on top. So let's go ahead and sell that catapult. That'll put a little more money in the coffers. And then, the next order of business is we need to see... I don't think there's any more of this, but let's double check. Uh, yeah, the industrial espionage. This is a different thing, though. Um, okay. Outstanding. So let's see. The enemy of my enemy. If I remember right, that was down here, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it's in the rough vicinity. Alright, Chet. So here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna hit an industrial zone. And then we'll head over here to Merrick's space and see about doing this. I don't know what this chain is. It might just be a single mission. But let's hit up an industrial zone, get some repairs done, see if we can rebuild a couple more. Oh, don't worry, Grun. Don't worry, Grumpy. You're, you're not, like, you are missing some posts, but I would say in the last six months, I've probably only made, like, two posts about 3D modeling. I do try to mention it from time to time, but I haven't actually been working on 3D modeling that much on the side. Uh, let's see. Kill three Vindicator units? Yeah, we'll definitely do that. Um, let me hit the operations room as well because there's at least one of these. Yeah, like that. We're not going to do this. I'm just going to abandon it. Um, and then we'll take this one to destroy J. Edgar units because we will absolutely do that in the course of time. Let me double check the star map and make sure, yep, there's no, no hero mechs available. I was hoping one might have popped up during our travel, but it did not. All right, so let's get the repairs done here first. I don't think anybody lost any parts. Yeah, everything's good. So let's go ahead and get the repair work done on these boys. We'll do it at a, a nice price because Davian loves us and we're doing it in an industrial center so that's good uh next up we got a lot of mechs we need to put back together so with this warhammer being the 6k it's not a huge improvement over the baseline model and we already have two 6rs that are fully built so i think with this 6k i'm just gonna pull the core and ditch it Because the only other thing it's got is a couple of medium lasers. Not really worth the trouble. But an engine core is always worth the money. Does it have jump jets? No, it doesn't have jump jets. Or at least it doesn't list them. Did they get destroyed? Bullshit. You fucking lie. It doesn't have jump jets. Get out of here with that shit. Well, to be fair, basically every mech is jump capable in this game. All you gotta do is put the jump jets in them. I know... I know that's not the case for every Battletech game, but in Mech Warrior at least, as long as you got the available weight, you can put jump jets in a mech. But for this one... It's going to be expensive enough to rebuild. I'm not even going to fuck with it. I'm just going to pull the engine core. Well, then it must be a setting that I have on because I am able to put jump jets in just about every mech. I just don't. Um, but let's have a look here. We got the Orion K. Which I did want to get this one rebuilt. So let's have a look at it. Yeah, I so I don't like jump jets. Uh, exclamation mod list. Pugs. 
in the chat will uh, will send you to the tweet that has the the current mod list that we are running. Uh, but this thing just got cored out, so it'll actually be a pretty quick and easy fix. Uh, mod list, not mods. There you go. Um, because normally what we do is we swap out the medium lasers for larges. Well, let's see if we have a 300 core. We do not. All right, is there one on the market? There is not. So what's the closest we can get to a 300? Best we can do is a 275. I don't like that. But I think we'll just have to go with it. Uh, in the meantime, let's immediately cram one heat sink in there. And we'll drop the short burst mediums. We'll turn those into large lasers, as you do. Because again, this is going to be an AI machine. Uh, the AC-10 burst fire, I think, is fine. I'm going to pull that Inferno launcher and the LRM launcher, and we're going to replace that with SRMs. Because the computer is dumb, and it always gets stuck into close combat, no matter what you tell it. So we'll go two SRM-4s to give him a little more up-close punch. Throw in another bin of SRM ammo. Uh, we gotta move all the ammo to the feet because the ammo goes in the feet. These are the rules. I do not write them. And that's a little heavier than I wanted it to be. So. All right. I think we can still make this work. I think we can still make this work. Do short burst laser, short burst laser. And that's that's pretty much what we'll do. We'll we'll just give them some short burst mediums, and then fill out the rest with heat sinks. Normally, you wouldn't be able to put this much firepower into an Orion, but because we had to put a smaller engine in it, it's going to make it a little bit slower, but it does give us more tonnage to play with. So then, let's put some more heat sinks in this thing until we fill it up. Um, I think the armor is not exactly maxed out, but pretty damn close. I'd like to have at least one or two jump jets for urban roof hopping, goat climbing up hills, pop tarting. What, what? I love that you call it pop tartings. I was like, what is that? And then I thought about it for half a second, and I'm like, no, I, I know what that is. Preventing damage on a long fall. I mean, yeah, that's not to say that the jump jets are completely useless. They definitely have a place, and they do have uses. It's just, if I have a choice between putting in two jump jets so that I can bunny hop, or putting in two more medium lasers, I'm going to put in two more medium lasers. Ah, uh, but let's see. We can... I mean, we can put in some more heat sinks here. Let's just uh, we'll put one in the head. Why not? We'll put a couple in the torso. Fog it. And then, because we're a little bit overweight, maybe we drop some leg armor. Uh... Let's do that. Nah, we'll do this. We'll do this. There we go. I hate odd numbers, but we're going to do it anyway. Again, this is a stopgap design, at least until we can get a 300 core to put in here. It's going to be a little expensive, but again, we already knew that going in. Orions are good, though, and uh, they can be even better because of their rugged and easy-to-maintain quirks. So they're a lot cheaper to keep up with, and, and I like that in any company. Uh, let's see, what else? I know we wanted to rebuild the Marauder. So let's see what we can do with that. 
We've been building our marauders with four large lasers. I just don't know if we have four large lasers to stick into this thing. But let's have a look. So we'll clear this out, we'll clear this out. We may have to leave this design for the time being though, because this also takes a 300 engine. And once again, we don't actually have a 300 engine. I could put another 275 in it. Let's, let's see what we can do with it. Yeah, we're, we're running a little short on large lasers. But basically we do something like that, fill in the difference, max out the armor, put a bunch of heat sinks in it and call it a day. Do that. And we're at only half a ton, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, where else can I mean? I guess we can lose a little more armor on the legs. I don't like that, but we got to drop some weight somewhere. There we go. And then again, we just fill in the rest with heat sinks. As this is just going to be an AI machine, so... All they need is heat dissipation and some long-range accurate weapons. I mean, I agree. I, I think... Like, Titanfall is not a good comparison for Battletech because they're very different franchises with very different ideas about, you know, mech combat. Um, but Titanfall definitely takes a lot of inspiration from, like, anime and stuff, but, but puts its own Western spin on it. Like, Titanfall is like, what, is like Japanese mecha anime, but viewed through the lens of the West. And I really like it. Like, I like what they've done with it. And, yeah, I, I would say, like, the Titanfall mechs are what light mechs in Battletech could be if they were as mobile in Battletech as they are in Titanfall. Uh, but Titanfall is, is a great game franchise as well. If you haven't played it, definitely check it out, especially Titanfall 2, because it is relatively cheap, even when it's not on sale, but it goes on sale often. And uh, sometimes you can even get it for free from different online storefronts. Um, so Titanfall 2 is definitely worth your time, and it does still have an active online community. Uh, we, we Titanfall fans are still out here patiently waiting for the announcement of Titanfall 3. We will, we will probably be waiting for the rest of our natural fucking lives, but we are, we are patiently waiting. Uh, let's go ahead and start this work order. Again, one and a half million to get it put back together, but that'll give us another hard-hitting... Uh, another hard-hitting marauder that we can take onto the field. And I think the only other mechs that we need to put back together at this point are going to be the Highlander, the Royal Highlander, and then the Hero Orion. So, honestly, of the two, I'm a little more partial to the Hero Orion. I don't want to rebuild both. I don't want to burn through all of our money. So let's have a look at the hero Orion and see what we can do with it. Yeah, since they're not Valve, they should be able to count to three, but no promises. No promises. All right. So we can't replace this large laser. We simply don't have the, the weapons to do it. Uh, for some reason, this Orion can put missiles in the arms, which is very strange. Uh, but let's see. Let's see what we can do with this. Because it's got the double heat sink kit, it's got the XL engine. If we drop the XL... Because I'm, I'm basically going to swap this out, and we're going to get rid of the LRMs and go with SRMs. So put double heat sink here, drop the LRM ammo... Did we build a PPC, Orion? I don't think we've built one yet. Let's see. 
put in a PPC, we'll put in the heat sinks. And then we got enough room for some more energy, but I think the double PPC is definitely going to put out a lot of damage. Ah, uh, let's see. Move this double over here. And we did actually just pick up some infernos. So maybe that's the move? Put in a couple of inferno launchers and just overheat everybody? Then again, if we're gonna go with a PPC, it might not be a bad idea to go with LRMs as well. Because this is probably a mech that I'm gonna be piloting personally, so we can actually use LRMs. So, let's see. If I went with, let's just say, an LRM-20. Stick that puppy in there. That's going to be very, very heavy. To be expected. To be expected. I don't know if it's all doom and gloom, General Quarters, because, believe it or not, Apex Legends is, is profitable, but it is on a little bit of a downturn, or at least it has been the last six months or so. So, I mean, I think it still has its diehard player base, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure, at least if things continue like they've been going, I think Respawn might finally be getting the... the I think things might finally be falling into place for Titanfall 3 to happen. Um, now, what format will take? Because again, they are still owned by EA. There's no telling what Titanfall 3 would take as far as a form. Um, but let's, let's not forget that EA basically tried to kill Titanfall 2 so they could write it off as a loss. Um, and it succeeded in spite of that. So, you know, there's that. Yeah, that's a possibility, General Quarters. But we're living we're living in an era of great change within the games industry, so I would like to hold out hope that they might be able to do something like what Bungie did and finally break away from their owners. Um it would be a tough battle, but I would still like to see it. I, I think an independent respawn would be outstanding. Uh but anyway, let's see. Let's see. Um, if we pull out the 300 engine core, because we do have a little bit of tonnage to play with. Chet. I'm having some heretical thoughts here. Rap with me. Rap with me. I got an idea. Or to quote Kevin Bacon in the movie Tremors, I got myself a plan. I'd see, let's see. Hold on, chat. We are cooking. We are cooking. I don't think the 400 is worth it, though. That's the problem. I don't think the 400 is worth it. Because we got all that heat sink space, but we're never going to use it. Hold on, hold on, we're cooking, we're cooking. So this thing is laser and missile, so that's what we want to focus on. That's where it gets its bonuses. So if I put in the SRM-2 Infernos, I could swear we grabbed an SRM-6 Inferno as well. 
I might be misremembering, though. All right, so we go... We go SRM6. SRM6. It's a little bit too heavy. It's a little bit too heavy. That's okay. Do this. Yeah, I think the 400's gonna kill it. That's my problem. That's my problem. Okay. Okay. So here's what we do instead. We throw on a 340. We keep the double heat sink kit. And we put in a supercharger. So we won't have crazy speed all the time. But we'll be able to sprint if we want to. Now, we gotta put in some ammo, of course. And as we all know, ammo goes in the feet. We are in an industrial zone. Let me see if they've got any... They do not, in fact. I was hoping they'd have some double bins for sale, but they don't. So put some ammo in there. Do we really need that many, though, is the question. I think we go for it. Is the armor maxed? Yeah, the, the armor is maxed for sure. Plus it's got bonus armor because it's a hero mech. So, alright. We put in some double heat sinks here because we want it to run cool. It's going to be firing SRMs and PPCs, both of which are very, very hot. So we got about five and a half tons to play with. Do we then say another PPCX? Maybe drop a little armor. I mean, this is this is just a faster version of the awesome. I, I we can't do AMS, Travis. There's there's none for sale, and I don't have any. Yeah, that there's there's none available, and I don't have any in inventory either. I think we have, like, one mech that already has some installed, but we we don't have any in the cargo hold. Let's see. What else do we have? We got improved sensors. We got powered sensors. I like powered sensors. And it doesn't weigh anything, so it doesn't cost us anything. Let me see. Let me see. We can make this work, chat. We can make this work. Could drop an SRM bin. The question is... How do we gain another half a ton? And I think the answer is we just drop some leg armor. There we go. We just spread out the armor a little thin, but we're still close to being maxed out. And it's three PPCXs and some SRM2s. I mean, this thing's gonna hit like a truck up, up front. Is head armor really needed? I mean, considering I got headshotted out of a victor that had maximum head armor, yeah, it's needed. It is absolutely needed. What do we think, chat? What are we thinking? Is this a winner? I mean, it's going to run hot if we're firing everything at once. Try it. Okay. All right. 
In fact, I got the perfect place to try it. Let's go ahead and start the work, though. It's gonna be one and a half million. And it is a hero, so, like, we're, we're getting some bonuses from that as well. So we got a lot of work to put in. And we're in an industrial hub. Which means... We have... We, we have stuff. In fact... In fact... I'm gonna be a butthole. I'm gonna do a 4v4 light, and I'm just gonna take out that Orion. I'm gonna send one mech to take on an entire lance of light mechs. Because I have no shame. Alright, who's who's our pilot with the Orion proficiency? Anybody? Oh, that's right. I forgot we got this new pilot. We're, we're going to have to put some work into them, too. And I'm surprised nobody, nobody really, I mean, I guess it is technically a different variant of the, uh, of the Orion. Uh, but I, I think, I think we let Erst take this one out because this is, this is an Erst mech right here. This is definitely an Erst mech. 89 days? Yeah, let's do it. This match is underway, and judging by the- Oh wow, I didn't realize this had a big old glowing spot on it. Deal energy damage. Well, funny you should mention that. Uh, let's see. So I want... I want... We'll do this. So we'll have the chain fire. Actually, you know what? Let's do it this way. There we go. So we'll have the chain fire and we'll have the full alpha. Come away with the victory. She's very fast for an Orion though. I mean, we could go faster if we put a bigger engine in it. Oh, look at that. Who the hell would have guessed that an Orion could go, could go that fast? Adjudicate this, loser! Oh, apparently they're shooting at the helicopters too! That's kind of weird. Now let's go bully some light mechs. Oh my god, this thing is disgusting. This thing is disgusting. Can I just, can I just walk through this? I can. God oh, damn it! I was just coming through to say hi. These fans are not getting their sea bills worth right now. That's for sure. Oh, they're about to. You just wait. You just wait. Come here. Come here for a second. There we go. In a single volley, we have dealt almost all of the energy damage they wanted. I would say, short of me just being completely stupid, uh... I don't think heat management's gonna be a problem with this thing, as long as I shoot it in a controlled manner. You were a little more durable than I expected. Good on you, buddy. Good on you. Well, there we go. I like it. I mean, obviously we were going up against Light Max, but, uh... She performed well enough. She performed well enough.
We actually got 15 picks in spite of the fact that I was taking mostly money. Uh, all right. I'll take a commando and some other stuff, I guess. And, uh, do we... Let's see. All right. So yeah, that was, that was good. That was good. Yeah, it probably wouldn't have turned out any different if it had been all mediums. Uh, I think, I think that also counts. We, we can count that as it has earned its colors. And I don't think that the commander is going to be piloting this one, so we'll go ahead and leave it with the default paint job. Uh, we'll sell this commando, as you do. I know I said I was going to repair this Warhammer, but... Uh, or no, that's right, we just pulled the engine core out of it. So I could sell it. So there we go. So yeah, there we, there we have it. There we have it. All these mechs are put back together, so I'm just gonna stick them in cold storage. Basically, with the way that this works, the only reason not to put mechs in cold storage is if they have upgrades. And uh, we, we do actually have upgrades on all of our crabs currently. That's what she said. Um, yeah, so I think we're in a good spot. So chat, it's been seven hours. I think I'm gonna call the stream there. Um, again, we had some good missions. We had some good times here in the inner sphere so uh, i would say that we had a very productive day and with that being said i need to go get some food i have not eaten today and my butt hurts normally i take a brb every three hours but uh, you know I, I figured we run a little long today have they fixed the bug where the ring stayed on that orion i guess so it might also be the uh, the texture optimization mod that fixed that as well it's always a possibility but uh, let's drop a save, as you do. Better than safe than sorry. We don't want to lose any of our hard-earned progress. You made it to rep 15 today. And uh, let's go ahead and we will go back to the office. And uh, we'll close out here so no, yeah. more, no more mech bay sounds for you. No more mech bay sounds for you. And Ro, are you listening? Donating a hundred Bezos bucks says for the crabs. Agreed. Yeah, now that we actually have a royal crab, it can act as the the king of the crabs until we actually get a king crab. So much much carcinization was had today, and it was glorious. And we also had a lot of work in the inner sphere, trying to give everybody, all of our pilots, an opportunity to get some screen time. To, to get out there and, and do some work on the Inner Sphere. We are still trying to level up some of our newer pilots. We even got Jacob Bronski in there. Although I do feel bad. I didn't, I didn't put them in the pilot seat as much as I intended to today. Um, but we were also doing some tougher missions. So I didn't really want to put in new pilots on really tough missions. Because, uh, you know, that not only does that increase the chance of them dying. But it also increases the amount of damage and stuff that we take. So... I figured it was better to stick with the folks that knew what they're doing, but we will we will do some of the easier missions and let those pilots start to level up. I'm gonna do like the BTA campaign and and eventually try to take some missions that will specifically give our more rookie pilots some time to get experience. But uh, aside from that, we made some money. We definitely spent some money. I mean, good lord, we spent we spent 20 million sea bills on that Dragon Slayer Victor. But you know what? I don't regret that purchase. No buyer's remorse on that one. That That is an outstanding machine. But it's good. We're, we're finally getting to the point in the timeline where, you know, some of the lost tech is becoming no longer lost tech. We're starting to see pulse lasers be a little more common. We're starting to see infernos show up a little more. Uh, we're starting to see more XL engines, uh, more mechs that are using endo. So... We're finally reaching that point in the timeline where all of the really fun stuff for Mech Bay Heresy is going to start to show up. And this is, this is the part. This is the part that I've been waiting for. I started in 3015 because I wanted to give us time to build up a stable, um, experienced pilot. 
and try to, you know, have some time to make money and get some good mechs and all that so that when we did get to that point in the timeline where the good stuff starts to show up, we'd be ready for it. And I think we're finally getting there. So there's still more DLC to do. Um, I know there's Dragon's Gambit out there. There's the Crimson Crusade stuff out there that we can do. Um, there's still a lot of BLC stuff that we're working on. There's still more elite pilots out there for us to find, assuming that uh, we don't have any more bug on us like the one did at the end of the last stream. But overall, again, productive day in the inner sphere. I feel like we made a lot of progress. And uh, as always, it has been a lot of fun dispensing some hot mech on mech action, especially right there at the end, doing some mech bay heresy on a hero Orion in order to turn it into a PPCX death machine with a supercharger, of all things. 110 kph, Orion. Never thought I'd see it, but you know what? We did it. We did it, chat. So I want to thank you guys, as always, for coming out on a Saturday and spending some time with us, hanging out here in the chat, in the channel, and enjoying some of that much-promised hot mech-on-mech -mech action. Again, the world is a roller coaster of challenges, and we don't all have a lot of time on this planet, so I want you to know that I appreciate every minute that you choose to spend here with us. Whether you spend five minutes or five hours in this chat with this community, every one of those minutes matters, and I appreciate them. I value them, and I thank you so much for picking me. Of all the places that you could be, of all the people you could be spending your time with today, I appreciate you choosing to spend it here with me and with this community. Because again, you are the street. Without you, none of this is possible. So, you know, I'm, I'm just the monkey putting on the show, but you guys make this what it is. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here and making this community off. Then before we go, I want to thank you one more time for being here, for making this stream another awesome one. And I want to remind you, like I always do, that your life has value and that the world is a better place with you in it. Never let anyone tell you otherwise. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.